doing today? Today is day number four for the pre-op diet for the gastric sleeve surgery. Um, today was a busy day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, first of all. Um, we ended up going to the lake with my husband and my kids. And uh, I wore this all day. I have a bathing suit under. Didn't even bother taking it off again. <laughs> Big issues for me. So, uh, but I did okay today. Protein for breakfast, protein for lunch. Then I had one of those cottage cheese thingies. And then, uh, um, well, I was so busy at the lake that I didn't even really pay attention so much to food. It was good, a good distraction away from it. So, but when I got home, I was really feeling hungry. VSG Skinny Bucket List had left a comment and said something about how day, he was on day five. He's a day ahead of me. And so uh, he was saying that day five was easier. Not easy, excuse me, just easier. <laughs> It seems like there are times where it's easier and I'm not really thinking about it, but then there are other times when I'm really thinking about it and I'm like, I need something to eat. And so I had dinner tonight. Um, I had three eggs, just plain eggs with a little bit of salt and pepper on it. And then um, I did have that Vega protein I showed you. Let me go get it. This is the one I showed yesterday. Per scoop had 20 grams of protein. This is Vega One. It's uh, plant-based proteins. I open it up and I look at it. I couldn't find the scoop and I'm looking around for the scoop and I smell it. Oh my God, and it makes me want to gag. It's French vanilla flavored and I'm going, holy crap, the smell is horrendous. Like literally, I just about gagged. It's really bad smell. I'm like, okay, I have to try this. This is an expensive bottle, guys. I'm not gonna waste money. So I put it in uh, two scoops in a cup, two spoonful scoops, not a big scoop. And, cause I couldn't find the scoop in here. In fact, I still don't, I don't think I can hear it. Oh, now I hear it. I think it was all at the bottom. Anyway, so I put two spoonful scoops into a cup. I put milk in it and it turned green. It turned green. It turned green. Hello, I didn't even realize a plant-based, sorry, my cat's playing with his toy. Um, I didn't realize a plant-based uh, protein shake was gonna turn green. So not only did this smell terrible, but the protein shake turned green. Of course it's gonna turn green, it's plant-based, hello. So, I sniff it and I'm like, okay, well, after the milk was poured into it and it was mixed up, it didn't smell that bad. Took a sip and it was delicious. I was like, that was very deceiving. So um, this all-in-one nutritional shake, like I said, I'm gonna say it for you again. It has 20 grams of protein, six different green plants. Uh, let me go back here. Made from three cups of broccoli, kale, Oh, I've never heard of this one. Spirulina and chlorella. Um, that's your different six grains. It's also got 50% of your base vitamins, minerals, fruits, and veggies. And then 25% of fiber, six grams of soluble, soluble fiber, same amount as 3.2 of, of whole wheat bread. Oh, same amount as three and a half slices of whole wheat bread. Blah, 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 blah. I thought maybe, uh, cause eggs, if you eat three eggs, you get about 15 grams of protein. If that, it depends on the egg and how good the eggs are without the steroids in it. I usually buy the cage free, organic, blah, blah, blah. Um, so with the three eggs and this, I got a good 30 grams of protein because one scoop equals two, three and a half eggs pretty much. So, surprisingly, this was good. I recommend not smelling it before you take a taste because, oh my gosh, the smell wants to make me puke. Or gag, at least just gag, it's really bad. Um, but the taste is great. So I can, I'm gonna be able to stomach that at post-op surgery. 
Um, my numbers are today. Oh my gosh! Guess what? I made it to 212, guys. I haven't seen 212 in eight years. And um, I, right after I had Caden, he was about two years old, I started losing weight again. And then once Elijah was diagnosed, my youngest son was diagnosed with cancer, um, my second boy, um, I started losing weight again, but then with all this stress, I started gaining weight back. So, um, I, I, I didn't stay down in the t low 200s for very long. I went psh, right back up. Stress, it does that to you. Stress eating, emotional eating. I mean, talk, you know, you've got your child with cancer and your other one with autism. Yeah, I'm definitely a stress eater, but now I, you know, I'm, he's at the point where, you know, he's doing good right now and I could take care of me. So I'm taking care of me as fast as I can um, and be um, healthy for him. I have to be a healthy mom. Um, so 212 was amazing. It was like 212.8, which was great. That was this morning. I haven't weighed myself tonight yet. But I was so happy and I had a big old smile on my face when I got down to 212 and I said, dude, I think I'm gonna cry because that was, I don't, I haven't seen 212 in over eight years and for like seven, eight years, I've been staying above, uh, you know, in the 220s or so. And when I was pregnant with my son, I was in 245. So um, the fluctuation of, of weight has been quite the struggle for me. So this was exciting, guys. I, I'm very happy for today's progress. This I know is going to be worth it all and I know that I'm not gonna regret this. So this is gonna be great. Um, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. Alyssa and um, VSG for Tink and VSG uh, Skinny and a couple other people. Um, thank you so much for subscribing and uh, commenting and hanging out and stuff. So I really appreciate that. And we will see you guys all tomorrow for day number five. Uh, hopefully it'll be easier. I trust what you're saying. Yeah. All right. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Ciao.